about the other things. Hi, Santosh. Welcome to the session. And last thing before which I am going to send you right now is the Yo Creations portfolio. All right. So which is which includes every sort of uh, client I have worked on, uh, what sort of work I have we done from them, and certain proposal templates also. I'll just share with you so that you can go through that. So good that you got hold of me over right now. So just one more minute and then we'll get started. Hi, Santosh. And great. Mm. Yeah, and I, let me send it to you right away, right away. So just give me a moment. All right, I'll send you the other uh, files for sure. Uh, before, as of now, I'm just sending you these three files. I'll send you your PPC. Right, here you go, PPC proposal. Right, that's something which we share with the client. All right, so that'll be on your way. Uh, hi, Shadab. Good evening. How are you? And uh, We'll just get started in a while. I'm just trying to help each one of you with your requirements. So this is the best time which you from where you can just get hold of me. And Santosh, I would uh, email you the same stuff. So Santosh, can you help me? Santosh and Shadab, can you help me with your email IDs, please? So I'm sharing certain documents which are used when we try to pitch to clients for you know taking a services. Dhruv, I have been really busy, so I'll call you tomorrow. Don't worry. So, okay. It's Santosh. BH. Santosh BH at gmail.com. All right, guys. So what I'm sending right now to each one of you are certain documents, which I use as a questionnaire and a portfolio and a proposal format for pitching into a client. My voice is breaking. Let me uh, just. So is that for everybody or all of you can hear me well? So is that just for Santosh or it, uh, all of you? Can you hear me well? Dhruv, Shadab, uh, Vibor, can you hear me well? It's breaking. All right. So Dhruv can hear me well. Dhruv, you can reply in uh, everyone's stuff. Okay, not really sure why this is happening. All right, so this would be on your way in a while. And the topic for today's discussion, guys, is what? Weak signals. But signals at my end are perfectly fine. Not really sure why is that and I've got my other laptop also right in front of me I can see the signals and the connectivity is perfectly fine there it's breaking for Nand Kumar also oh my goodness okay uh, let's let's keep trying uh, in case it gets a lot uh, then probably I would have to Nick you have put email ID wrong email ID all right Shadab, just help me out with your email ID once more, please. Problem with mic. Uh, mic has been doing well. Mm, let me try another mic. So just give me a moment. Absolutely. So I'll try the other mic. All right, guys, so I have just changed my mic, so do let me know in case uh, this uh, gets resolved or not. So T N I D I N S S E I 
that was in R, then shut up. You can uh, shut up at yahoo.com. I hope it's, this is fine, right? In Gmail, shut up. It has gone back to work. Oh my goodness. Not really sure why this is happening. It's worse. Oh my goodness. All right, so now I have uh, used actually a third one, a third mic. So I, I carry a lot of mics with me. So let me know. This is best. All right. That's great. So this is Sony. So I got to know that the JBL one didn't work well. The eyeball one didn't work well. But this Sony one is perfect. Great. So let me share. Uh, we'll start in a while, guys. Let me send you the documents first, which I have promised you. And that's so bad of me that I couldn't really send you over the entire week. Uh... All right, so this file is a bit heavy, so it's taking some time. Once it's done, I'll send that across to you. So I'll just add on through also. All right. All right, so let's get started, guys. Uh, I'll just give me a moment. I hope no one has seen the password, right? So, Santosh, I'm sharing across your password with you, so you can anytime change that across. All right, so that's, Santosh, I've done that. So that's the username and that's the password. And your website, the URL where you have to type in, where you can enter is your website domain.com forward slash C panel. So all right, so I hope each one of you, uh, whosoever is, is part of DMP has got the website. So before uh, you are part of DMP as well. So I need to give you a free website. So the Dhruv has that, Santosh Guru Prasad has that. And I have just forwarded the C panel details to Santosh. So before I'll, I'll give you the website as well. All right, so Santos, just let me know if you have got that, the username, password, and the theme, absolutely. So what I'm gonna do, theme, I'm gonna give it across to Guru, and uh, because uh, Guru has just joined in. Guru, I'll give you the credentials of my Theme Forest account. From there, you can go ahead. Hi, Guru. So just give me a moment, I'll give you that also right now all right that's great so what i'm doing santosh for the theme you can just coordinate with guru i am sending across guru to uh, the theme forest username password to you you have the theme also with you. So help Santosh in terms of the, the theme part. All right, so sorry for the log uh, this, uh, keeping you awaited guys. We could just wanna start. So, all right, so Santosh, Guru, you can just coordinate with each other. Rest of you, you already have the website with the theme across, right? So Guru, that's the username and password of my theme forest. 
all right so let's get started with today's session and today's session is all about advertising over the linkedin platform last time we did cover the i mean we have already done the google search google display we are also done with the remarketing part we are also done with the bid strategy we are also done with the the facebook advertisements when we did the facebook advertisements we also understood how the interest categorization and all that stuff can work and uh, after facebook it's very much important to make you see how the link uh, landing pages are also created plus the linkedin part also so i'm just going to take half an hour to 45 minutes and show you the entire panel for linkedin it's not at all a difficult panel to work on guys in even though if you don't want to invest in money in the uh, advertisement part from your end maybe in future you would get some client who would who would be ready to invest into that at least you should have a good sense of the overall panel how the panel look like so oh, okay uh, so fine guru this session is getting recorded and uh, how i can help you is with the recording for sure and still in case you have any problem any question you can let me know so this is the url guys where i am going and i have just now i heard it's far more expensive absolutely right i have a i have a question right now from vibor vibor says that linkedin is far more expensive than facebook absolutely you have heard that right minimum cpc cost for uh linkedin is 100 rupees per click you know this is something which is uh i mean i haven't seen any great case study where any good brand has got great returns out of linkedin uh, platform guys so uh, but still it makes sense for the b2b organizations i hope you understand what b2b organizations are somebody who is selling across products and services only to business only to corporates and not to individual customers just to give you an example absolutely business to business just to give you an example softwares you know business softwares if there is an accounting software no it, particular individual person is looking for it sap software any erp software uh, all these things are required by corporates you would i mean you know the difference between facebook and linkedin is that facebook is used by many uh, i mean a, a good amount of people people of all different ethnicity of all different religion of all different uh, nationality of all different age group and interest level are also varied but with respect to linkedin it's a very serious platform where only networking professionals i mean professionals are looking for networking showcasing their resume showcasing their experience they come up and they create their profile uh in case you guys want to uh, connect with me on linkedin the, uh, you can do that too so you can just type in my name on uh, linkedin and you can uh, get to my profile guys it's very important to have your profile on uh linkedin platform so that you can showcase your stuff i would always recommend to recommend to each one of you to have a detailed linkedin profile now why i'm talking about why okay so that's uh, that's what you can type in on linkedin and check for my profile uh why are we talking about linkedin is because linkedin is a platform which is good for organizations to target let me showcase some of the advertisements which you can see on linkedin platform let's say if i go scroll further down i don't see any advertisement right up here or oh, so there is an advertisement by rather uh, linkedin so let's say if i go to the home page may i might encounter some ad but there is a video lag all right so I, i'm going to go slow don't worry all right so i'll just get started guys so i don't see any advertisement right up here there are pretty less advertisements like i told you this is not a very famous advertisement platform guys not many organizations uh prefer linkedin as the, one of their uh promotional plan tool you know i've already shared with you uh, i'm sharing the url sorry this is the url of linkedin advertisement you can simply go there and start making an advertisement all right so let's get started let's say i'm again going to take the same example i want to target all those people 
who can be a sort of our audience, a prospective audience for digital marketing partial. All right, so that's what I am going to do right now. So with the other advertisement, you can tell the benefits. But other than advertisement, all right. So other than advertisement, absolutely, Santosh. The benefits are that it's a great platform. So you know, LinkedIn is a great platform to network across with people who are into your industry as well. So you are into, let's say, marketing industry or digital marketing industry, and you want to speak to all those people uh, who are into the same profession, same field. For networking, is the best tool for showcasing your uh, overall profile on the internet in an online space then also it's a perfect tool right so that's these are the major benefits of uh, linkedin but with linkedin advertisement uh to be very honest uh whenever i have used it or whenever i have searched for linkedin advertisements uh, giving any fruitful benefits to any benef any specific uh, brand there hasn't been any there hasn't been really but uh, i still it makes sense there's so so many organizations who still rely on linkedin as one of their platform and i would that's why i'm going to take just 15 20 minutes or just half an hour to show you the entire platform how the linkedin campaign manager works like the kind of categorization the kind of targeting you can do all right so i'm back to this particular tool i i had clicked on so the link which i have given you for advertisement how you can go over there is on the bottom you can see this advertisement bar this advertisement tab which is there if i click on this you land to the advertisement page where you would get the opportunity to click on start now and start making your ads all right the best part about this platform guys is that i can select on those people i mean people on the basis of their job title if i want to make my ad see to those people only who are into these s i mean who are working in any organization with the job title having seo in you know a part of their job title or all the ppc experts google pay per click advertisement experts i can target those people so let's start let's get started with creating an ad for a digital marketing part shala let's say i want to target the seo professionals based in delhi ncr all right so delhi noida and all that so surrounding areas let's say that's that's a kind of a thing which i want to go ahead and do and language there are plenty of language options which are there i don't want to go with other ones i just want to go with the english version so i go ahead and click on the english so our targeting the yes we are targeting the course to them yes the course the digital marketing part shala course we have we're going to target that so i'm going to just open my landing page also so that i get the url and guys i'll also show you the facebook uh, campaign which we created last time i had run it for seven days and there have been results there have been conversions which have got counted so i'll show you the stats for that also all right so once we are done with this all right so all right so that's my url i'm gonna take the landing page url All right, so you can see that's the URL guys of my landing page. I'm very much looking at my other laptop also so that the video lag problem isn't there. So I'm, I'm taking, I'm copying the URL of my landing page. I go back to the LinkedIn uh, campaign maker. It says, are you looking at targeting people? Are you looking at uh, sending out people to any uh, web page of yours or to a specific page on your LinkedIn? So I'm not looking to sim send someone to my LinkedIn profile or company page. I'm looking at my external web page, which is my landing page. I enter that across, right? That's what I had done. This is my destination URL. Now, next, what it's asked me is to actually add an image, add a headline and a description. So up to 75 characters is what is being allowed in the description, guys. With respect to headline, there is also a character limit, which is 25. Over here, it's 75. 
25 in the headline, 75 in the description. And let's say we go with the image part. With the image, I have to make sure that my image is 50 by 50 pixel. So I have to really look for that kind of an image. A low resolution image absolutely it's going to be a low resolution you're absolutely right so I'll rather put my logo let's see if I have a 50 by 50 or I would rather change it so whatever pictures I have they all are so it's 150 by 150 I'll see whether it gets uploaded or not in case the picture doesn't get uploaded guys we can also change the resolution so it got uploaded you can see 150 by 150 pixel got uploaded I can write a headline Excuse me. All right, so I'm exceeding one of the characters and All right, so th these are the permutation combination which I have to see which one fits the best. So uh, now comes the part of the description part, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I'm done with the picture. I'm done with the headline. I'm done with the uh, description line. That's it. I can add more variations to it. As in when I say variations, there can be more advertisements with different image or different headline just to do an a b testing right i did tell you what uh, i'll tell you what a b testing means guys if, let's say if i have a variation i click on a variation i can keep one thing constant let's say i keep the image same which is constant and i make other thing being a variable part where whereas in uh, i can keep the description line same i can keep the image same but i can just change the heading part this is uh, variation 2 then I can add variation 3 also where I can just have the uh, what do you say image same headline same but the description line I can change in the fourth variation I can have both the headlines and variation same but the image would be different what is going to happen when I'm going to run my ads for all the four five permutations and combinations of my ad I would get results for all the five ads and I can get to see which one is working best so what will happen when I get to see out of five, the third one was working best, as in working best in the sense it was giving me more leads, I would start putting in more money into my third one and I would take out, I would stop the first, second and the fourth and the fifth one. All the money would go into the third one. That's called A-B testing, guys, where you have a lot of variations up. So let's say this is the second variation. I can change the... Uh, any one of the items uh, one of the elements and so get train experts in all right so instead of digital marketing I made it made a change and made it internet marketing that's what AB testing guys stands for Okay, but you had once told that LinkedIn's are not there in India. No, no, it's the it's the uh, Twitter Twitter advertisements which are not there in India. But LinkedIn, it's there, obviously. I mean, uh, I won't say that because I keep on doing that. No problems, no problem. So Twitter uh, ads are not there, right? All right. So let's go ahead and click on next, guys. This is A/B testing. So this is A adver uh, advertisement A and this is advertisement B. I would run both the advertisements. The only difference is just one word. 
I have excluded one word out of here. Industry is not there in the second ad. And instead of digital, it's internet. If I would run both of them, I would get to know which one works best, right? I can have more variations also. Let's go ahead and click on next. Okay, just a sec. Oops. I guess I forgot the password. Let me just look for it. Just pay with me guys for a minute. Uh, I'm not able to recall the password. I have just clicked on forgot password button. It's taking some time to load. So LinkedIn is taking some time to load. By that time, I would just close my eye. Okay, here's the email which I was sending you. Here you go. I'm sending all the documents, guys. I'm sending all the documents which I, okay, Guru. Uh, you were not included in this. All right, so uh, Santosh, can you just connect with the Guru and send the same document, set of documents to him? So Guru, you can take those documents. There are certain documents which I have. All right, thanks Santosh. So just help out each other guys. All right, so the password changed. So the documents which I had sent, uh, Guru, there are certain documents which we, uh, you know, proposals, uh, SEO questionnaire, digital marketing questionnaire, which I generally use as my weapons for pitching across to my clients. That's what I had shared with each one of you. All right. So. All right, I guess. Uh, my goodness, my. All right, it's already there, safe. Okay, we are safe. Great, so that's what we did earlier, right? Now, uh, we had created these ads. I'll go ahead and click on next. All right, now you can see the kind of, uh, I mean, you would get to see the difference between uh, targeting options which are available in Facebook panel and targeting options which are available in the LinkedIn panel. So let's say if I, I mean, the location panel was definitely there with Facebook also. So I have got uh, starting from the continent part. So I would look for Asia. I am looking for India. And within India, I'm looking for Delhi and CR region, right? And um gonna Delhi all right and then again New Delhi let me see if uh, Noida and all these other places are there so so Noida actually comes under Uttar Pradesh and which is the nearby area let me see if that's there that's one of the cities All right, somehow, unfortunately, it's not there. So Vibor, uh, you and me uh, are from the same city and somehow it's not there. All right, that's unfortunate, all of that. Noida is coming, all right. Noida is there, so JKLMN. Absolutely, Noida is more popular as compared to Kasebad. All right, and the other one is uh, Gurgaon and Gurgaon is there with Haryana. And I'm just going to check whether that's also there or not. That should be there because that's more popular. So Gurgaon, absolutely. I go ahead and close this. All right. So I have selected three locations, guys. New Delhi, Noida, and Gurgaon. 
I want to target what company. So, okay, type Gotham Booth. All right. Uh, do you want me to do that? Right. Just let me check. Even Gotham Booth was in there with Uttar Pradesh. Uh, no, unfortunately, it's not Vibor. The Gotham Booth thing is not also there. Great, but thanks for the suggestion, Vibor. So companies, uh, I can select companies. You know, this particular section was there also with uh, Facebook. If you remember, guys, we can target those people who are working with a specific organization. Do you remember that? With Facebook, this was present. And even it was there that uh, you want to target those people who have passed out from a specific school or a college. Even that was present with Facebook. But over here, with respect to organization, we can see, I can, uh, let's say, I can type in, let's say I want to type in just Infosys or Infosys BPO. I want to target all these organizations. I can go ahead and type in all the names which I want to target. But with me, it's not the case. I want to target all the organization. My major targeting is going to be on the basis of the profession. So let's say I target on the basis of industry. So I can see industry if I go to the marketing and the advertisement or the online marketing part. So I don't see that option. It's a uh, high tech, which is not there. It is not into my stuff. Educational is there, finance is there, consumer goods, arts, and all that. So none of one, none of them actually belongs to my particular scenario, guys. But whatever, uh, so a lot, you know, the targeting depends a lot on the uh, advertisements which you have been asked by your uh, client to make. So the, all these inputs are going to be come across. I mean, you would be asking your client, what industry are you targeting? Are you looking at certain company? size are you looking at only those organizations which have more than 5000 employees you can ask your client are you looking for targeting those organizations which have in between 500 to 1000 or are you looking at certain uh, specific organizations employees to be targeted it's there in corporate all right so let me check thank you so much so industry and corporate and within the corporate professional training and coaching and then marketing and advertising absolutely right thank you so much uh, santosh highly appreciate that so let's say once we are done with that we have selected a particular category which is marketing and advertisements i can enter the companies also which i want to exclude so i want i can i can type in those uh, at present i don't want to include exclude any of them now this is something which is really great guys which is not present either with the with the Google advertisement panel and this targeting option is not even present with the Facebook advertisement panel. We are not able to target those people uh, who are in a specific job role. So I can sp uh, specify, you know, uh, I can, I just want to target those people who have got SEO specialist, SEO consultant, SEO manager, SEO specialist, SEO search engine marketing, all these people, online marketing. I know that these are the ones who would really be encouraged to actually see my ad and much more conversions can be there. That's what my thinking is. I mean, this is how did I decide that this particular job title I should target? That's on the basis of the kind of uh, existing customer base I have. I have so many people who are already working in the SEO domain in various organizations and they come to me and then they try to learn the other aspects of the digital marketing. That's the reason why I have decided to include, uh, make my ad show to those people who are uh, working in, in uh, these this marketing and advertisement uh, industry and with a specific job role where the job role is SEO consultant, SEO manager and all that. I'm going to... Uh, exclude the internet marketing and the online marketing because somehow I feel they already know the stuff. That's why they won't come to me. I would rather I like to target the SEO guys only, right? The SEO guys are uh, is something which I have seen they would convert. All right, so now I have more option guys. I can I could have selected on the basis of category also. 
but I haven't done that. Uh, let's see if I do it on the basis of function. I have accounting, account, business and development. So I there are many people from the business development uh, channel also, business development uh, job role also where they come and approach me. Entrepreneurship, human resources, marketing. So I can select for marketing guys, right? So you can see this number keeps going up and down, right? The audience number. We have seen this uh, when we were doing the Facebook stuff also. So my overall database uh, where my advertisement would be shown gets exclude, uh, gets uh, expanded and gets narrowed down if I keep choosing more options, right? So I'm narrowing it down further. At present, I don't want to do that. I want to make I want to make my ad show to those people who are based in Gurgaon, Noida, New Delhi in the marketing and advertisement uh, comp, uh, industry and all those who are uh, there with the specific title. So they're less than 1000. So if I exclude the marketing and advertisement, there are 12,000. So I'm going to target these 12,371 people. That's what my overall objective is, guys. In Within these three uh, geographic location, people with certain uh, job title, I want to target them. They are 12,371. I would go ahead and look for more targeting options. All right. Now, these marked, uh, more targeting options, guys, The another one is I can target people on the basis of what school they have gone to. With respect to my specific requirement, there is nothing like that. I'm not making my ad restricted to be shown to those people who have gone to a specific school. But let me show you how what kind of database they have. Uh, let's say if I do. So, I mean, Delhi University, DPSRK, Puram, Delhi College. I mean, major schools are there. I'm not really sure what all other schools they have got. So. They generally, so Jawaharlal Nehru, uh, Kendra Vidyale, so all that. I mean, we can enter. We can go ahead and enter the school part also, and uh, my advertisement would be shown across to those people only who have passed out from a specific school, and also the field of study. So I can select for the field of study whether they had studied marketing or they have studied accounting or whatnot. So with my specific objective, guys, for DM Pachala, I'm not uh, looking at any field of study, any set of school uh, from these people who are uh, actually I'm approaching. Then also comes with degree. So since whenever someone goes to LinkedIn, LinkedIn.com, uh, if you guys have your profile on LinkedIn.com, I hope you must be knowing then that whenever you make a profile, it does ask you everything. What's your overall educational background? Uh, what degrees do you hold? With in which with which organizations have you worked, and all that. So that's the reason why that ha LinkedIn has got their overall information. The next thing comes by skills. Uh, there's so many people who would write in their skills as well in their profile. So let's say if I type in SEO. My overall audience, my goodness, has decreased. All right, so let's say I keep doing that organic search, keyword research, landing page, SEO, all that. So I'm not going to take that. I want to show it to everybody who's in that same job title. So I can do that with from the skill parts also, guys. I am not targeting so much further. Now the next thing, guys, comes in groups. All right, uh, no problem, group. So uh, I would, uh, you you do have the recordings. I'll I'll get you the recording. Uh, the group part, the way we have Facebook groups, guys. Facebook doesn't gives us the option of targeting those people who have opted and joined certain groups. But over here, we can narrow our targeting on the basis of groups part also. I can mention certain groups name and say that people who are part of a specific group only they should get to see my ad. If I type in SEO, SEM, you can see my numbers have decreased or everybody who was I was targeting earlier, they are the very less out of them who are part of this. I'm not taking it right now. This is very specific, guys, very specific targeting. Uh, I'm target. I'm looking at all 
I am looking at uh, male, female, both. I'm not looking any, uh, okay, I'm looking at age bar of 18 to 24 and 25 to 34. That's it. So my overall uh, set of people whom I have to target is 3,604 only, right? So my entire audience has number has decreased because I know there are very less number of people who get converted within this age group which is 35 to 54. I mean, there are people, but my major chunk of crowd is between 18 to 34. All right, so you can, uh, this is a new thing guys, which has come up, which is enabling uh, audience expansion. It is uh, all about expanding the scale of your campaign by also reaching members similar to your target audience. Automatically, LinkedIn is gonna check for more people within my network, within my target audience group. So this is my target audience group, right? Which I have selected within my target audience group, automatically the expansion will happen and LinkedIn will keep on looking. So uh, it's a recommended thing. It's always recommended to have the audience expansion thing. So I hope all of you are clear on the uh, overall targeting options, pretty easy. Age, gender, group, skill sets, degree, field of study, school, Job title, for me, job title was very much important. All right, thanks, Vibor, uh, if you have answered. Santosh says, what's that? Uh, I believe uh, you're asking about the audience expansion, right, Santosh? Uh, Santosh, it's just like um, giving a specific, uh, what do you say, letting LinkedIn decide how to what all people they have to show the ad. So LinkedIn would actually expand my audience. My audience right now comprises of 3,604. All right, 3,604 people really uh, are fall, falling under that uh, categories, uh, all the parameters which I have mentioned. So the uh, when I click on audience expansion, audience will see if there is any way through which more people can also be targeted with same set of uh, parameters which I have mentioned. The same sets of setting which I have mentioned, uh, LinkedIn will actually take that, all right? So I don't know how much it has helped so far other people because uh, LinkedIn is something which I also don't use quite a lot. Uh, I mean, it's most of the marketers who don't use LinkedIn quite a lot. I click on next. All right, so Facebook and all those are very much uh, perfect. So you can see the, uh, the, uh, the very basic pay-per-click cost which it's letting me uh, do is minimum 100 INR. I did tell you, beyond lesser than 100 INR, my ad won't run. And the minimum uh, CPC bid, which it gives me is 130 to 196. It's very similar to like burning your money, guys. I won't prefer you, <coughs> excuse me. I won't prefer in uh, to make you, uh, you know, run your ads on LinkedIn because as compared to Facebook, they don't get you much revenue, much leads and uh, they're expensive too. So they're expensive and not that effective also. And okay, let's say if I do my daily budget, I mention over here as, thousand, all right. And how long will my campaign run? <coughs> Excuse me, 24th. So, okay, Guru says, when you're running the ads and some people may join newly and comes under the categories, right? You have selected LinkedIn with target. Absolutely, expansion of reach is that. You're right, Guru. So, what happens? They keep on updating their database. Now, maybe this audience number, Guru, or everybody, the audience number, which is 3,600, is on the basis of the calculation which they have done a couple of months, maybe. Let's say they do a refresh of their database today and they get to know that within these categories now as per new calculation it's almost close to 4200 right For which is 600 more so what Google, uh, linkedin would do linkedin would include that this is maybe a old data right they might refresh it or no new people would actually join in so all that can happen right save changes i hope everybody is clear on that not much of a rocket science with linkedin I'm just going to make you see the, I just wanted to make you see the entire panel, how it looks like. My goodness, it's again asking me for the password. Uh, 
all right so now time for me to actually go ahead and punch in the overall uh what do you say the debit card and credit card let me just try one thing guys wow so see i had one of the coupon code guys i just implemented and i i got 3000 rupees just now see i had this handy uh 3000 rupees coupon so actually in case any of one of you want these they are easily available for 1000 rupees ultimately what happens you get uh 2000 as benefit so i've got the 3000 rupees coupon they are easily available i've got uh, connections with linkedin they actually give me that all right so i'll do that part later on the billing information and all that guys at a later stage and maybe next time i'll show you how the overall ad performed let me show you the ad which performed which we had created last time with facebook guys all right so that's all we are done with linkedin guys that's all uh, it's there with linkedin Not, nothing much nothing more beyond this i'm going back to the facebook ads manager and would show you some of the uh, okay yeah, absolutely let's move ahead right all right thanks guru great so yes just want to show you the conversions and all that which i have received so far so for i had created certain advertisements one of the advertisements was uh the campaign so these were three campaigns which i had created last time so it got started on 13th guys all right which was last uh, week only and i have spent almost 130 dollars so far 129 dollars and website clicks have been these many reach have been this much per website click has been this much so let me show you the very first one which is the gazabad one the gazabad school and colleges what i had done i had created one campaign which i have made show which i have uh, decided to showcase my advertisements only to those students uh, who are in school and colleges specific school and colleges i had taken out data from google that which all school and colleges are there in this particular city which is named gazabad and i had entered all of them uh, when i was making the advertisement let me show you where i had entered them mm one of the advertisements so this is the ad set i click on so if you see on the right hand side the targeting option uh this was can you see the ads guys these were the cities guys earlier on i mean these are the cities which i had taken which are very near to this particular location and i would also mention the schools you know ipem abes ideal institute of technology IME Cyberabad in Mintech RKGIT what's happening my advertisement is getting shown to those people only who have been part of these schools Chaudhary Chavilda school uh, Bhagwati Institute of Technology ITS Mohan Nagar Ajay Kumar Engineering Gazabad so a lot of colleges i had taken the uh, and uh, i have typed across in my overall ad set guys all right that's what i did a huge list a huge list of schools and colleges the university all right let me show you the overall parameters the overall results which i have received for one of my advertisement i click on the very first one so campaign name is gazabad school and college the ad set name so you searched in google map absolutely guru i first of all searched with all the uh, schools and colleges because i know my audience are majorly the uh, students who are part of these schools and colleges so i would create another campaign also which would target the professionals also working professionals so i will first of all see which all working professionals do i have to target i'll show you the kind of returns i mean the kind of leads i have got also so are we all uh, on the same page so uh, santosh nand kumar dhruv uh, vibhor are we all good yes says santosh all right vibhor guru says yes dhruv says yes all right vibhor are you good and samta you have also joined in samta are you good nand kumar says yes all right vibhor says yes all right thanks okay so samta you have just i believe joined in 15 minutes back are you all are you okay uh, i mean are you understanding things because this is something which we did last time all right this is the ad guys which was being created by me 
and let me show you how it performed all right thanks samta i can click on performance and click so there are various options through which i can get certain uh, matrix to measure performance and clicks is the most better one guys when i click on this you would see it tells me that 433 clicks were being uh, done on my advertisement which is this this is the ad guys that's how the ad looks like all right uh become google adwords certified and all that and it reached actually to 13970 when i say frequency one person has seen ad almost close to three times frequency means that more than 13970 times my ad has been showcased all right uh, and every person has seen almost close to uh, 3.32 so these are the unique people guys you know three when i say 13970 one person might have seen my ad three times right these are the unique people 13,917 fresh people, no repetition being there, they have seen my ad. And maybe one person might have seen my ad two times, three times, or four times. On an average, all these people have seen my ads 3.32 times. Every one click has fetched me for 0.12 cents. 12 cents have been the total uh, per click cost. So I have been paying on CPC level. And the amount total which I have spent so far has been $51, guys. All right. Now, this is a score, guys, a relevancy score, which is a sort of a quality score out of 0 to 10. I've got 5. Uh, when I started, it was close to 3. I kept on uh, changing the ads uh, overall uh, wordings so that it may went from 3 to 4, then to 5. Earlier on, it was uh, the pricing was somewhere close to uh, 12 or 13 cents. Now it has come down to 9 cents. When the relevancy score improves and CTR improves, this is the CTR, guys. More people started clicking on my ad so more people were liking it so more much better ctr much better changes in my advertisements when i do the relevancy score moved up and the cpc actually went down from 13 cent to 9 cent so it was somewhere close to 12 and 13 cents now it's close to 9 cents all right so per website click in all was costing me 12 cents in all total in all total uh, this is the average but that's the one which i'm paying right now it started with 13 cents on an average it's 12 cents right now this is the cpm price for every thousand impressions i'm paying one dollar ten cents my actual paying stuff i mean you would might get confused that why are we seeing both of them the cpc model and cpm in actual i'm running it on cpc only but it does what is relevancy relevancy is a quality score through so out of like we had quality score for keywords also earlier on like out of 0 to 10 in Google AdWords. Similarly, we have the quality score with relevancy. It says a rating of 1 to 10, right? So I kept on improving the relevancy with the help of changing in my advertisement text, advertisement picture, all right? So that's the kind of stats, guys. And the overall conversion pixel, if you remember, we did the pixel pixel part. I got the pixel uploaded on my web page with the help of that Insta page thing, Insta page landing page. You can see my overall, uh, this is, these are website clicks guys these many website clicks so the conversions part let me show you that All right, so when I do the custom part over here, the impressions cost per result, the conversions, it's website clicks, website clicks, reach the actions. I think uh, the conversion part is actually not working for this campaign. Maybe for the other campaign it's working, but let me check. I did work on this. So frequency part is very much up there. Relevancy score, cost per result. 
So this actually tells me how the overall cost per result has been. It started this list. Oh, okay, the video lag, I'm so sorry. Uh, All right, so you can see the overall results. Okay, overall uh, overall costing uh, panel or overall costing uh, bar graph is also there. It keeps telling me how much was I uh, spending per click. So my one of my click is being mentioned with this as my conversion. My conversion is getting counted as a click, guys, not as a web sign up. So I'll show you another advertisement to make you understand the conversion part. So this is about the clicks part guys, you know that with the clicks part, how many people are clicking on my ad is considered as a conversion. So I repeat again in this campaign, I had selected whenever someone click on my advertisement, please count that as a conversion. That's why it's showing me that uh, these many conversions have happened. Let me show you the other campaigns which I had. Right over here, you can see seven conversions being there the conversion pixel which we had created, you have selected the website address. Uh, yeah, the website address is definitely there. Yeah, you are right. The website address is, I mean, it's actually the landing page. This is the landing page, guys, which I had taken. Let me show you. So guys, uh, my landing page was this dmpartshala.com forward slash digital hyphen marketing hyphen course hyphen in hyphen Delhi. Yeah, this is the leads uh, landing page for leads guys. Okay, no, no, uh, even that group is group with that also I had got the landing page only not the home page of my website. So this was a URL which I had used and let me show you how many leads I received for this particular page guys. This was my page and on Insta page. I'll, I'll take, I'll start with Insta page also guys. And the page, Insta page, which I had. All right, this was the page. This was the page I can make you see in a very quick section of a fact fraction of a second guys the leads which I received. So this session is getting recorded. Let me pause the recording and so that my data doesn't get shared. Just a sec. All right, so I've made you see the overall form fill-ups which were there. And this is actually one of the functionality which Insta page gives me. It does tell me that how many people, so Yesterday, there were seven people who came onto my landing page. Two people filled up the form. Today, it's been nine people and out of nine, four people have filled up my form. So overall, in all 46 visitor till the, you know, since my campaign has started been running, 14 people have filled up the form. 46 people came onto my landing page, 14 filled up. Conversion rate of 30.4%. Voice not audible. Okay, I'm not really sure why is this happening, guys. Is that with everybody? It's okay now, all right. Uh, okay, I'll keep speaking. If it becomes more of a trouble, do let me know, please. Maybe the internet connectivity issue is there today. All right, so this is with the desktop version, guys. I can make you see for the mobile version also. There are mobile version of my landing pages also. So with my mobile landing page, there have been 135 people. I'll, I'll just make you see. With my mob, the mobile version of the same landing page, there have been 135 people who have come onto my landing page. And out of 135, there have been 30 submissions. 30 people have submitted their details on the form. And 22.2% 22 have been the conversion rate. Now what's gonna happen? Now I, in a real time scenario, my team, will start calling up these leads. They will start emailing them up so that they can give them information. And uh, if they are interested, they can automatically come over and uh, you know choose to uh, you know uh, decide as in whether they wanna take this course or not. That's the way, I mean, we do as a, 
uh, overall lead uh, creation process guys so so what's the difference between conversions and visitors all right that's great so somebody who comes onto my uh, let's say i had got the advertisement on facebook all right before when somebody clicks on my ad and comes onto my landing page he or she becomes a visitor now the visitor chooses not to fill up the form there are two scenarios visitor can fill up the form or not fill up the form somebody who has come onto my web page is becomes a visitor for sure but now if he leaves that page he doesn't get counted into conversion when or in a scenario 2 he doesn't leave the page he fills up the name email address and what not phone number and clicks on get course detail then that becomes a conversion so 146 people came onto my this page after clicking on my ad out of 146 sorry out of 135 only 30 people have filled up the form that's what it is let me know before if that's clear so guru says tell us uh, now how to link the landing pages to website and how we can capture the leads and where it could be absolutely great sure thanks so that's all with facebook uh, platform guys before the does that uh, is your question answered all right okay got it but do you have to create separate page for mobiles very great question so let uh, your overall questions will get answered now absolutely not we don't have to create different because this tool insta page actually helps us to do that now i have the paid version to insta page guys if you want to sir how to track consumer who has filled the form but not clicked on submit button you cannot you cannot track them very great question drov if you have someone coming onto your landing page and not submitting his or her details we cannot track them that's very difficult we can just get to know from where they have come how much time they have spent in all in totality with the help of google analytics but uh, we cannot get to their name and details and all that mac id no uh, ip address you can but not uh, mac id mac id is unique for every system right so uh, no no actually software gives you that right okay so guys i am on to my insta page uh, thing can we target ip no we cannot target ip also i wish that would have been there so we cannot target ip we can just target on the basis of what do you say the geographic location right so through analytics absolutely so guys instapage.com that's the website through which we actually go ahead and create landing pages very easily it's a paid tool which i have i think there is a free version also to it and how you can access the free version let me give you the link for it i think i have that so i had actually spoken to these guys uh insta page and they told me that uh, i told them that i am some somehow promoting their product so if they can give a free version to all my yes yes i have restarted yes uh absolutely santosh thank you so much so i stopped the recording for couple of seconds right thanks all right so let me share with you the insta page link where you can go ahead and get to uh, play around with it with the free version also all right so this is the url guys which i am sharing i'm sharing one of the url guys uh, it's of the same page which you can see on the screen and over here you can see a banner which says increase your advertising roi with a single page click on that one and just go ahead and okay this is no more there okay this was actually given to me by them to get the free versions all right just to say guys right try this one now try this url guys which i have already shared with you you would have to go ahead and get the uh, get i mean sign up across on this once you sign up let me show you how you can create landing pages and how you can connect them to your wordpress based website so let's start with the big thing i am going to log in to insta page all right it's taking some time i'll let me
all right so once i logged in once i logged in guys this is the overall dashboard which i can see it'll come for you in a while uh, i'm just going to make sure of the okay this is the dashboard guys which comes since uh, we have to create the landing pages that's why we can see one of the very first button which it says create a new page it's a fairly simple tool guys click on create a new page it will ask you three options do you want to import a specific url this thing doesn't really work properly or do you want to uh, create uh, you know a web page on your own this is the most prominent one drag and drop always use this one url importer doesn't work perfectly as of now our insta page and dot insta page files are those who are only uh, developers and know how to work on insta page files so ignore the third one and ignore the first one go ahead when click on the second one which is drag and drop all right so now you can see there are plenty of templates guys which are available and these templates are all well researched templates for landing pages now why do we need a landing page we always need a landing page audio and video lag all right uh just a sec so this is the page guys where you can see a lot of i'm going to uh, be a bit slow and i am looking at my other laptop also so i have my another laptop uh, where i can check for the video lag and i would do that thanks and uh, these are the templates guys where we would go ahead and check uh, i mean uh, use these templates for creating my creating our own landing pages now these are well researched templates and uh, while landing pages are needed landing pages are always needed to uh, run campaigns we it's never recommended to run your campaigns and make your visitor land on either on the home page or the internal page of your website landing pages are best suited for whatever your specific uh, objective maybe right so let me take one of the example where are they stored uh they are stored in their database uh, which is uh, with insta page database so insta page have that with them and i've got other op you know a lot of options a thank you page a mobile app a webinar page a click through page a lead generation page let's say i can scroll down and make you see i'll choose one of the templates and make you see how can we edit them let's say this is the one guys uh which is so i'm just going to be quick and select any of those all right so i have to name my too much of video lag all right okay can you see it says name your page because i'm looking at my other laptop also it's gone the video the video lag is gone okay let me uh, try and showcase for a webinar page so i'll take a webinar page and go ahead and do that all right so i'm taking this one guys i'm taking one of the webinar page which is the second one and now what i'm doing i'm naming the uh, page absolutely guru we can we can have those pop ups so those are pop ups which we create when uh, someone opens the same website like activate a newsletters and this is possible yeah i'll show you uh, this is possible with this uh, insta page also and other device there are certain plugins also on wordpress uh, guru through which you can have the pop ups so dmp webinar that's the name which i'm actually having it i click on continue just check for a group uh, try a do try doing a google search all right try doing a google search on how can you uh, a, a plugin who, which helps you to get a pop up there are plenty of plugins for that also and in case you don't get that i'll still help you 
So what you can see, guys, uh, there is a specific uh, template right up over here. And I can go ahead and edit this template. They have got their dummy content very, you know, uh, over here. I can change it and customize it to the way I want it. I can edit the existing content and place mine. All right. Thanks, Guru. That would be great. So let me show you how to do that. Yep, sure, Guru. All right. So let, I'll go up. Now you can see the desktop and the mobile version. There are two versions. Some uh, you did ask me, can do we have to create sub separate pages? It automatically creates a mobile page also for you when you create the desktop page. Right now we are working on the desktop one. So what I'm doing, I am going ahead and editing this. I click on edit. Okay, I'm going to go slow. All right, sure. So you have the desktop and the mobile version uh, tab on the top. Right. The desktop and the mobile uh, button. I can click on the mobile and then make changes on my mobile version. I can go ahead and click on desktop. The present at present the version which I can see in front of me is the desktop one. If I will create the desktop version automatically the mobile version will get created. So we are starting with the desktop version right now. What I have done on the top, you can see an image which says O-C-E-A-N-I-A. -E I don't know how do you pronounce that. I have clicked on that and it gives me certain options as duplicate, arrange. I mean, there are certain tabs to it. I have a tab for this which says edit. Okay, I have clicked on the button uh, on the image which has Oceania, Oceania, whatever. I have selected that and I'm going ahead and clicking on edit for that. When I click edit, I can edit that, replace it with my specific brand's uh, logo. Let's say uh, I want to do it. I upload, I want to upload a specific image which is my organization's logo there's too much lag okay i'm going very slow i don't know why the lag is not there for me because i have got my other laptop also my other laptop does show me if there is a lag uh, okay i'm going slow so what i have done i have clicked on the edit button for oceania and when i have clicked on that it does give me an option of replacing that image with an image i want to upload All right, so I click on from PC. Okay, it says, uh, Nand Kumar says it's good for me. All right, so I've clicked on upload and I upload my specific logo, the PNG. All right, Karu, sure. So you can now see uh, my logo will get uploaded in place of the existing image which is there. So it's getting uploaded. It's taking time. Okay, not really sure why is this happening. It's taking time to upload the image. Maybe some problem is there with my internet connectivity also today. That's the reason why it's happening. Okay, let me check for how much is the speed right now. I'll just do a speed check on my phone. It's still 93%, it's saying. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why is this problem. So creating a good landing page, it matters a lot, absolutely. While getting clicks, we should do a A-B testing for the landing page. Absolutely right, Guru. We should always do a A-B testing for the landing page. And landing pages are the ones which should be only used for the campaigns. 
All right, I did a speed test right now. It's 8 Mbps. It's showing me 8 Mbps speed right now for me. But if the speed is 8 Mbps, not really sure why things are not getting uploaded and downloaded easily. AB testing, uh, okay. Did you, uh, so I was talking about AB testing when we were doing the LinkedIn part also, Santosh, where I did mention that let's say there are certain things in my campaign right now where, so I had a variation A and I had a variation B. Do you remember that? In my variation A ad, I had digital marketing industry words. My text, my headline was same. My variation A of my advertisement on LinkedIn, my headline, my uh, image was same to the variation B also. And with variation B, it was only the change in the wordings of my description line, right? So that was A-B testing. I had most of the things same in my variation A and variation B in LinkedIn ad, but with, uh, with the variation B, everything being same, but uh, one single thing being changed. Why this happens, why we have two variations is that so that we get to know which particular ad is going to make sense to my end audience. It's a very subjective thing, right? It's a very subjective thing. My uh, my particular audience might like one thing, might, might not. So then it's ABCD. Absolutely. It's ABCD. It's generally called as AB testing. I mean, you can have the variation A, you can have variation B, variation C, variation D, right? All right, so what I did just now, I got my uh, organization's logo on the landing page. I, uh, are we good with the A-B testing? Dhruv, Santosh, are you clear on the A-B testing part? You had the question. You had a question in regards to that. Santosh, clear on the A-B testing? Things you can... All right. Dhruv, are you clear? One time more. All right, I'll show you. You know, we have A-B testing over here also. Can you see variation A? And I can have a variation B also. I, I would go slow so that the video lag thing gets covered. I have a variation A. The variation A page is this. I can have one more variation. I can click on add variation. Now this is variation B guys. <coughs> Guru, can you see? I have a, I can do A-B testing. Vibhor, Nand Kumar, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Uh, okay, uh, because of video lag, my cursor is right up there on the variation part. Now you would get to see Santosh. So you would see Santosh, uh, my, I have clicked on one of the tab which said variation. When I clicked on it, it says variation A, variation B. I can go ahead and click on add more variation. All right. So I can have a totally different page altogether. What will happen when my page would be live? Somebody will check a variation A. Somebody will get to see a variation B. So today I run my advertisement on a specific, for a, a specific landing page and I create three different variations for it. When three different variations will be created for it and let's say uh, we are eight people as of now uh, all eight of us get to see the same ad and get to click on the ad now the very first person will get to see variation a and automatically insta page can show variation b to the second person the third person might see the variation c fourth person might see the variation one again or maybe two or maybe three what not What's happening, everybody is getting to see different variations. It will automatically, uh, Insta page will automatically keep on making uh, changes in the page which the end customer will see. One end customer might see variation A, any other customer uh, as in the visitor might see the variation C. So it will keep on shuffling. It will keep on shuffling. The data which we'll get at a later stage in terms of the conversions percentage or the visitors coming onto my site, we'll get it bifurcated for every variation. Consider a situation, you know, you are in the racing bet, you know, you are betting on uh, four horses. Now, 
you would always bet on that horse which will you know give you much better roi it's very much like this you are making four different landing pages on one single url there would be four different variations of a uh, you know of the landing page you're making four horses run for you you're making four landing pages run for your campaign after running it uh, for maybe a day or two or 10 days you got get certain stats with the stats you would get to see which variation is working better as compared to the other variations if you get to know the third variation is working better you would camp you would delete the variation one two and the fourth one and you will have only the third variation it's sort of testing guys it's sort of hit and trial you can say in other words in short two different landing pages absolutely for one single url you can have two different landing page or three different landing page or four different guru says we should set the different bids for different variations yeah not really same bids so that you can get to know which one is working better you know same bids same geographic stuff same settings all right so that's with the variation guys uh we both said that means landing page would not be part of the website absolutely right absolutely right we don't make the landing pages part of the website but they work they are actually uh, installed or sort of configured with our main domain only if you would see my uh, landing pages they are configured on the domain only it's dmpashala.com forward slash blah 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 but they are not part they are not they don't have any tab or any linkage with the main website they are kept separately with the objective that somebody who comes onto my landing page should not jump to any other page of my website just like that I want my objective is as a marketer to get as much conversions as I can on the landing page whether it's a lead whether it's a sign up whether it's a form fill up whether it's a purchase if I'll give a lot of options to my end customer in a, in a way like by having top menu being there or like it says home about us and what not the result will happen that the end customer will keep the visitor will keep jumping from one page to another and the focus won't be there it's always recommended not to have the different uh, web pages links on your landing page all right so vibor says but it that means landing pages would not be absolutely cash cows absolutely these are cash cows how do you link your web web page or your landing page to the website i believe that's what you're asking santosh i'll show you that so generate just generate leads only nothing else absolutely right absolutely right so okay that's with the variation i hope you guys can work on editing the page which is a pretty easy stuff guys i mean it's very much like uh, making changes on a powerpoint presentation you can edit the text you can edit the image you know there are certain tabs on the top you know which are very easy to work on very easy to work on you can make changes to the uh, images you can make changes to the overall uh, icons or the overall text which is right up there so i leave that on you guys first of all try uh, working on this i'll show you how do you get that published for your website for your wordpress based website how do you get that connected that's the most relevant stuff let's say this is my page which i have i want to make it live all right you can see there is this button on the top which says publish my cursor let me check whether you can see my cursor right now or not so my cursor is right now on the button on the right hand side which says publish can you all see that let me know if there is a video lag still my cursor is going to the button on the right top right which says publish now i have to publish this page santosh okay says yes all right now what i'm doing i'm making you see the overall uh, procedure of how to get this page linked to my web domain and run it as dmpartshara.com forward slash whatever i want to name it i can name it i click on publish all right when i click on publish it's gonna ask me are you done with mobile page are you done with seo settings so you know there are things which you can do that i am going ahead and clicking on continue all right so i can set up the seo part i can set up the mobile we will have an we have we'll have different sessions for seo also guys 
so don't worry on that so clicking on continue all right SEO for landing page absolutely absolutely we were we'll have that now after clicking on uh, publish and clicking on continue tab it tells me how do you want your web page to be published my website is on wordpress can you see one of the option the third option says wordpress can are you guys on the same uh, thing the wordpress icon can you see all right i go ahead and click on wordpress thanks when i click on wordpress it again asks me do you want uh, want to send it to your wordpress website i click on to send to wordpress all right so i have sent it across to wordpress and now what's going to happen let's say i want to do it i want to thanks robert thanks through thanks uh, nand kumar for answering my questions now what i'm doing i'm going to the back end panel of my wordpress based website so let's say i do it for i already have it for dm parshala website i've got the plugin i would need a plugin guys the insta page plugin would have to be installed i am going to the back end of my website since i want to integrate that same page which i have created with my website so i am going to the wordpress panel i have clicked on send to wordpress i am going to the back end of my wordpress the wp admin i log in there i have written down the username and password now the plugin the insta page plugin has to be installed guys i have already installed that so uh, but still i'll tell you how would you guys do it when since you would be doing it for the first time i have done it already it's already installed can you guys see the wp admin panel dashboard on the left hand side i hope you can see that on right on the left hand side we would have the plugins option all right all right so here's the plugin option i'm going to just going to wait here for a second so that you can see that underneath appearance there is the plugin option i go ahead and click on add new plugin all right when i click on add new plugin when i click on add new plugin now what i have to do the overall plugins list comes in front of me i would simply go ahead just to say i would simply go ahead and type in the word insta page all right i type in the word insta page in the search bar it will give me the insta page wordpress plugin so i've already up uploaded that i've already got that installed what you would get right now i have to update it i will update it later on you would get an option uh, as install now you would have to install that plugin guys all right the insta page wordpress plugin will get installed once you're done with clicking on the install now and then clicking on activate on the left hand side on the left hand side of your dashboard you would get an option of insta page as a separate tab altogether so let me show you once we have done that the insta page one how does that comes across so it has testimonial courses google forms right here you go it's the insta page can you all see the insta page plugin which is installed once we have installed it comes up over here like this you would have to click on insta page first and it will ask you for your username and password of your insta page account guys all right i have already connected my insta page account with my wordpress pan panel 
so it is not asking me it would ask you guys since you would be doing it for the first time pretty simple go ahead and enter the username and password credentials of your insta page account in the wordpress panel wordpress uh, plugin all right then once you are done with connecting it go ahead and click on add new go ahead and click on add new guys what's the purpose of linking the landing page with website can't we run it separately the uh, we can run it with both separately but it does help us in the overall branding if i run it as uh, maybe instapage.com forward slash blah 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 it doesn't look as professional as dmpartshala.com forward slash webinar uh, uh, online hyphen webinar this i mean that's the that's the overall benefit so you ultimately you are making you are building the trust of uh, the end customers who are coming on to your landing page they would feel that yes they have come to an authentic place and not to an unknown uh, entity all right so i click on add new all right it's taking some time are we all good till now so it's just taking time let me know are we all good so how the process we have done so far all right thanks dhruv nand kumar uh, manu guru santosh vibhor are we all good all right thanks santosh oh sorry thanks nand kumar all right thanks vibhor okay it's taking bit of time guru are you good hope you have got that so it's taking bit of time guys in just a minute maybe i have forgotten but i can now how link these two adwords yeah please do that yeah, absolutely with adwords it's pretty easy so with adwords definitely once you get this up you just have to take the url santosh and get that uh, submitted in the destination url so whenever santosh you face certain issues you guys have your whatsapp group also so keep asking each other i know some of you do uh, connect with each other so uh, i think with that group uh, i'll add manu also to that group manu if manu is not part of it dhruv is part of it guru is part of it santosh is vibhor i'll add vibhor or uh, okay the voice gone all right so keep keep connecting with each other guys so uh, guru keeps doing a lot of uh, r&d so i i would believe uh, whatever doubts you have vibhor is a good person to actually get in touch to uh, answer your, most of your queries i mean I'm, uh, i'm i'm just saying the truth not trying to appreciate or something all right so guru knows a lot of stuff so right now guys you can see automatically that same dmp webinar one the dmp webinar title even through knows a lot of stuff so can you guys hear me is that the voice is gone only for vibhor or for everybody okay you can hear me all right great so you can see the title the same url okay i know he guru is being modest no problem all right great so title uh is dmp webinar that's what the page we had selected automatically that page came in guys you know the insta page to display can you see so many pages i'll it will just come for you there's so many pages which are there in my account they all come up over here you know i had created a lot of other pages i have to select which web page has to be configured with my domain i click on dmp webinar and i can click Uh, mention it as webs online webinar on digital marketing so how did this came okay it came when i came, went to on the left hand side after installing the plugin santosh after installing the insta page plugin automatically insta page icon you know uh, option came on the left hand side in the dashboard when i went to the dashboard 
it will first of all ask you when you will click on the insta page thing it will ask you for mentioning your username and password santosh uh, since i have done it already my account is already configured so it will not show for me but it will show you for you i repeat again once you done with that then click on add new then this page will come you have to click after installing plugin i repeat you will get a insta page tab over here on the left hand side step two would be to click on insta page tab it will ask you for the setting of your linking of your insta page account with your wordpress it will ask you for the username and password of your insta page account over here once you have submitted that step 3 is to click on add new once you click on add new it will say what url which page do you want to connect and want to uh, come up with in terms of making it live and publishing it all right so that's what i did the title i can mention so it's up to me whatever title i want to put it the custom url i have created myself also guys the overall domain will remain same okay the overall domain will remain same but the part after that is something which i would type in this is something which i have typed in myself online hyphen webinar hyphen on hyphen digital hyphen marketing this is something which i have let insta page or wordpress both know that my landing page url is going to be this this is what my landing page url would be like this is in my control this part but the part which is the domain part is not in my control because i have already selected that i want my website my landing page to be configured on their specific domain now the insta page which i want to do uh, is this seo absolutely the the url creation is seo related guru you are absolutely right the title part also you are absolutely right guru so we'll we'll cover that part when we'll do the seo i'll cover that part all right so we need absolutely uh, we'll we'll have class on that maybe next time we'll we, have, we absolutely the next uh, module is seo only after this all right so dmp webinar is the one which i wanted right and then the insta page type i wanted a normal page all right i click on insta page type as a normal page insta page to display is dmp webinar the custom url i have created now i go ahead and click on publish guys i would want each one of you to play around with insta page guys it's a very good great tool play across with the facebook panel play across with the linkedin panel you don't need to enter your credit card or debit card details you can still go ahead and do that till the time i mean the credit card and the debit card details are asked at the very end of creating the campaigns get a custom with all these uh panels so that uh you know that's very essential for if you're trying to build your career into digital marketing all right so i take that url and let me show you how this looks like so in a different tab right now after clicking on publish after clicking on publish i have got my url my landing page published with the same url which i had created i type that same url in a different tab and you can see it's live guys i would so you can go ahead and open that in your browsers too let me just share, share with you guys so that's the url you can also do that whatever changes now i'll make on the insta page it will get updated this page will get updated as well right make sense guys i can simply go ahead and change things over here as well now i believe there is a lot of video lag it's 10:08 almost 10:10 uh, and uh, i would request each one of you to play around with insta page there are plenty of functionalities i know there is a lot of video lag yeah so 
there are plenty of functionality guys with insta page which are so easy to configure if you would trust me if you will spend two to three hours that's the minimum or maybe more than that you will easily easily come to know how this overall software online software of landing page creation works so it's an online tool guys it's, it's an online tool which helps you do that so in case you want to uh, even make changes uh, try the uh, paid platform guys so uh, i'm not really sure whether these allow you with all the functionalities with the pay, uh, free version just just try asking them the customer support team of insta page if the free version is also there or not earlier there was but some of they have discontinued i believe <coughs> excuse me there is another platform guys which helps you create uh, webs uh, landing pages that's called wix.com <coughs> excuse me for creation of landing pages guys take out some time at least uh, you know couple of hours to explore this tool as well this is another great tool and it does have a lot of uh, free functionalities also this also helps you to create landing pages even this helps you to create websites also guys so it's a great tool to get uh, your landing pages also up just sign up and start working on this it will uh, so the, there are plenty of templates also okay these are the website template guys not the landing page landing page templates they i mean you would have to select them you would have to do a search on what sort of uh, template are you looking at all right so i i don't want to give you much uh, trouble with the video lag guys which is happening so was there anything else which i had to share with you uh, guru i have shared with you your overall uh, theme forest thing and help santosh as well vibor i have given you the documents dhruv i'm going to speak to you tomorrow for sure and vibor i'll speak to you as well uh nan kumar manu if you had certain questions feel free to uh text me across on whatsapp no problem so i believe i have uh i'm trying to address everybody's uh requirements i did conduct a session on wordpress did i have uh no guru so you can actually uh just uh, get that fixed up yourself and and help uh, others so you don't need to you do just need to keep it with yourself all right so uh, before we did have a session on wordpress didn't we yes we did have so i'll uh, what i would do i would share with you just just help yourself with the video recording ones we had a uh, detailed session before on the wordpress bit.ly forward slash dmp i'm just giving you the link give me a moment uh no guru there is no problem with your wordpress it's the problem with the theme so you have to let them know so the link guys to the overall bit.ly yeah both the themes absolutely right you're right absolutely all right so uh, guys uh, you can send me across all right sure sure you do that santosh absolutely you can do that so i've shared with you guys the i have shared with you the link of the videos which is there and uh, 
before we go and so here's the link uh, for the feedback guys just help me out with that with the feedback too Okay, here's the link to the feedback uh, form guys. Let me know how was the overall session. So that's just with the objective of uh, letting me know what all changes do you want. All right. Uh, I'll, so before you can check on the entire videos which are there, one of the video does have the WordPress stuff in detail. All right. Uh, Dhruv, I'll try to uh, contact you tomorrow, please. Uh, I have to actually rush for my uh, office. Actually, I've got certain tasks to do, so uh, definitely I'll speak to you tomorrow, sure. All right, so, okay, this is the uh, video. Thanks, Santosh, for the feedback. And thanks, Guru. Thanks, Santosh, for the feedback. And we bought this is the URL uh, of the specific video where we've spoken about WordPress in detail. So feel free to do that and let me know whatever doubts you'll have. All right, any other doubts or any other queries, guys? Okay, sure, Santosh, and uh, okay, I have, okay, sure, Dhruv, I got you. Okay, so uh, Santosh, definitely you can let me know. And sure, so Guru, you can uh, take that forum, which I have used. Uh, I'm giving you your cPanel details also, Guru. So I've given C panel details to uh, Santosh also so you can help each other and speak to these team guys. All right. Why is this problem happening? Feedback page is too small. Is that so? Are you logged in Nand Kumar through uh, a phone or something? Because uh, there's a lot of space which I can see. Yeah, okay. The app is currently unreachable. Yes, okay, I, I'm not logging out, sure. Okay, you're on laptop, still it's not happening. The feedback link didn't work for you guys. And, okay, okay, Santosh, sure. All right, I'll share the feedback link once more. 
let me know the exact uh, trouble uh, Nand Kumar which you are facing with the feedback page All right, so this is a feedback link I'm giving again. Okay, it's looking too small, but uh, if you see my screen, okay, you don't know why it's happening for you. Can you try opening it uh, on your on a different browser, uh, Nand Kumar? Because uh, if you see my screen, it's pretty easy. Uh, I mean, it's it's not that small. Yeah. Okay, it's working fine for others. Yeah, I try to open in another browser. All right. Great, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, are we okay, uh, Santosh? Have you uh, copied the stuff? Have, have you guys uh, copied from the chat whatever stuff you were trying to do? All right. So uh, I know there's a video lag. That's why I'm just. Uh, it's 10 minutes prior to uh, our schedule time. I'm logging out, and we'll keep get getting connected. I'll upload the video, the recordings of this session, the today's session, guys. Feel free to uh, view that. And next session. We'll start with the uh, on-page optimization, which is a part of search engine optimization. So we'll start with search engine optimization, what exactly it stands for, why is it uh, really needed, and how do we make our website uh, optimized, right? And uh, in between that, we'll also understand how the landing pages can be optimized for search engines also. Right, so that was more about the paid part. I would request you to keep viewing the uh, recordings and keep practicing because a lot of practice has to be uh, sure, Guru. A lot of practice has to be done from your end as well, right? Uh, because that's a major thing, all right? So we'll be in touch, guys. Thank you so much for uh, joining in today, for your sparing your time. It was wonderful having each one of you. And we'll, we'll touch base. Uh, very soon. I'll keep you updated on when when is our next session. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye. Good night, Vibhu. Bye, Santosh. Bye. Thanks, Guru. Thanks, Nand Kumar. Bye bye.